Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends movie blade figure which is as of right now the only blade figure. So that's kind of interesting that we never got a comic style but we got a movie style figure. Now some people, myself included, we don't generally like the movie figures because they don't really look accurate or they don't look they don't have the same appeal that a comic style figure does. Now I have gotten most of the Avengers type ones. Uh, but I never got like the Punisher or like the X-Men figures, they just never did anything for me. This one, however, I think it's great. I'm a little bit biased because I really like the idea of Wesley Snipes being Blade. I think the movie concepts were a good idea, uh, whether or not they turned out, at least number two and three turned out to be great Blade movies, and eh, that's a different issue. But this figure, I don't think... Uh, even today, I don't think we'd get a better version of this. I mean, sure, some things could be done better, but this is a pretty darn good blade figure. Just, of course, the jacket's a little bulky since it's only a, a six-inch figure with a pleather jacket, but I think it looks pretty good, especially once you get it posed. It looks really freaking good, like impressively good. It's super, like right there. Doesn't that look like a real person? No, I'm just kidding. But it does look pretty good, I think. And I think one of the best parts about this guy, not counting the accessories or the fact that they did a almost completely, maybe completely unique sculpt on him, is the head sculpt. Now, right now, I have the glasses still held on with the rubber band just so I don't lose them. They will stay on without it, but you just have to be really careful. Now, the thing that I really, really, really like about this figure, is that rubber band? Oh, good. I thought it was stuck to his head. That likeness is really good. Young Wesley Snipes, not young, but younger, when he made these movies, this looks pretty darn accurate, as in really accurate. And I don't care who you are or what you say, this is a much better likeness than the Hot Toys Blade figure. The face on this figure looks infinitely closer to Wesley Snipes than the Hot Toys one, so that is saying something. It's not really saying that much, because I think the Hot Toys one is horrible but this looks just like Wesley Snipes. So if for no other reason, this is worth picking up if you liked Wesley Snipes as Blade. Then you add the hair sculpt, which looks good, and the tattoos they put on his neck, which look really good. I mean, this is just a really well-planned out, well-done figure. The arms aren't super bulky underneath so that once the jacket goes on, it looks good. And if you really put some time into it and got this jacket to hang properly, Sure, the lapel is a little bit big, but if you bunch it up a little bit where it's supposed to go, it's going to look like it does in the movie. It's a really, really nice looking figure. We have the full standard uh, ball hinge shoulder up here and then the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow and everything, which you can actually get pretty good range out of even with the jacket on. We have a wrist hinge, we have a forearm swivel, and we have a hand hinge, which allows him to grip his accessories, which we'll get into. The head articulation is kind of unique, because it's all one sculpt and then a ball peg for the neck. So he can look up and down, and side to side, and he can lean even from side to side, so you can give him some, some style, some uh, swagger. Not swag, swagger. Different thing. So that's pretty cool. And then we have a really nice sculpt for the chest and torso with the little buckles painted. Looks really nice. We have some pouches on there. Torso articulation is one of those kind of gliding diaphragm joints. So you can go from side to side. So you can get them in some pretty cool poses. You can go front to back. You can rotate it, but you don't really need to rotate it because you have a waist twist also. So you can combine the two and give it a pretty good look. We have T-jointed hips. The hips are a little small. They're a little awkward looking, but once the jacket's not pulled out of the way, it's not going to look too bad. But you do get a pretty good range of motion out of them. Uh, mine's stuck right now, so I don't want to risk it and break it, but they go all the way out to the side if you want them to. We have the thigh swivel. We have a double jointed knee, which works really well and looks good. We have his silver spikes strapped to his leg there. It's just a really well done figure. We do have a shin swivel in here, which isn't necessary for me, but it is there, and I think it might be necessary to fit him on his motorcycle, but we'll get into that in a minute. We have an ankle hinge, not the best range of motion, but it's included, and a toe hinge, which is actually done pretty well. The boots are sculpted, everything is just really well done, especially, I mean, it could be better, but considering that this was probably a $10 to $12 figure when it came out, really really impressive they even have a slot for the sword in the back and a clip inside 
that's on his back to hold the sword and it's sculpted all the way around so you can slide his sword in just like he does in the movies and it looks really really good really accurate looks awesome I forgot how much I like this figure I just got it out because someone asked me to review it and I'm really glad they did because this thing is great I love it the glasses don't have any sculpt really going on but they are sufficient I'm never going to get that back on his head to hold it properly, but oh well. So he does come with the sword as you saw. Mine's a little warped, but it's got a nice sculpt. The pleather's starting to flake. That's okay, that'll happen. It'll be alright though. So the, set, the sword is painted. Not a huge amount of detail, but it does have a unique sculpt to it, so that's cool. He comes with his glaive. It's a little bulky, but it's still a nice accessory to have. Nowadays I imagine they could make that joint a little bit thinner, but still pretty cool piece kind of iconic. He's got his super awesome pistol and then the slide can come down, or the slide, the uh, magazine can come down. It doesn't come out but it does come down. I'm not sure why they went with that design but it's still a unique feature so that's cool. A little bit of dry brushing on there. And then he comes with his motorcycle. If that wasn't enough you get the motorcycle with it. I'm not sure if he ever had this in the comics or not. I don't think, oh yeah he used it in the movie, didn't he? He used it in the second movie, I know in the beginning he had a motorcycle. I don't remember, either way, he comes with a motorcycle, which has a decent amount of detail to it. We have rivets all over it, and paint job, and nice sculpt going on. You can actually turn the handlebars. Decent paintwork. The tires are rubber. Mine are starting to have some kind of reaction. They're kind of getting that leaky rubber syndrome. But still, that's pretty cool. I think they did a really good job with this and he can kind of fit on it too. You just have to spend a little bit of time to make it work properly, but he can fit on the bike. And I'm just gonna do a real quick pose. That's horrible, I know. But you can even tilt his head up, put his hands on it, and put his feet on these pegs back here. And you can see he will fit on the bike practically. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna set down set those wheels on my backdrop and get whatever kind of oil that is. He, it's a little small maybe, but he can fit on it. It can be usable if you wanted to pose him on his bike. It can be done. So it's just one heck of a figure for the price point. I don't think you can beat it. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in some poses so you guys can see him in action here at the end, but that pretty much covers it. I definitely recommend this figure 100%. It's a really, really great figure. Th thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.